In the world of pickup trucks, we hear some very popular names. The Fords, the Chevys, and the Rams. Yet, there are some gems that are often underrated, manufactured by such big firms themselves. These overlooked marvels quietly defy expectations and deliver excellence. So here we are with a countdown of the 10 most underrated pickup trucks you probably didn't know existed, especially for our automotive enthusiasts. On number 10, we have the 1957 Dodge MW300 Power Wagon. The Dodge Power Wagon line, including the MW300, was a renowned creation of its time, exceptionally known for its durability. No wonder it was built in such a way that it could probably withstand rugged terrains and heavy-duty tasks, thus leaving its mark among farmers, forestry workers, and military personnel. What lies under the hood? The 1957 Dodge MW300 Power Wagon was typically equipped with a potent engine for its time. Of course, one can expect specific engine options with variations depending on the exact model and configuration. But take note, one common engine found in these trucks was the Dodge Red Ram Hemi V8 engine. The power output produced around 204 horsepower and 312 pound-foot of torque. Did you know? As the power wagon excelled for its unmatched performance, its focus on utility sometimes overshadowed creature comforts. With changing times, buyers were shifting towards more comfortable and refined vehicles, whereas the power wagon lacked a luxurious interior and offered a rough ride, which might have led to its underrated status. Another reason might be estimated that during the late 1950s, the automotive market was becoming increasingly competitive, with major manufacturers flooding the market with innovative features and designs. And this masterpiece had to face stiff competition from other brands, which had an adverse impact on its recognition and sales figures. Next on number 9, we have the 1970 International Harvester 1100D. Surprisingly, the 1970 International Harvester 1100D is often overlooked in discussions about vintage pickup trucks, despite inheriting some of the finest characteristics of its time. The 1100D was no exception, built to withstand tough working conditions on farms, construction sites, and beyond. It offers a wide range of engine options, including inline six and V8 engines, which in turn gives flexibility to buyers in terms of power and performance. Let me tell you, this pickup had a unique design that stood out for its functionality and utility, unlike many of its competitors that were simply flashy in style, thus marking it as a genuinely crafted automotive vehicle. Notably, the 1100D was available in various configurations, including different bed lengths, cab styles, and chassis options. Thus, one could use it for various purposes according to their needs. But then, why was a pickup with such attractive features so underrated? Stay tuned as we unfold this mystery. Factors such as lower production numbers and fewer surviving examples led to the 1100D to be less common and thus less visible in collector circles, contributing to its underrated status. Furthermore, International Harvester focused primarily on agricultural and industrial markets rather than consumer sales, which eventually led to underappreciation in the broader automotive community. On number eight, we have the Dodge Little Red Express. Back in the days when big, powerful cars ruled the roads, Dodge came up with something unexpected, the Lil' Red Express. This truck wasn't like any other. It could zoom past other pickups at an incredible 100 miles per hour. That's faster than most cars that were ruling the roads in 1978. Imagine a pickup truck that seemed like it belonged in a classic hot rod car show with flashy designs and shiny chrome pipes sticking out the back. It was like a blast from the past on wheels. But here's the kicker. Inside, it was all fancy too, with nice carpets and wood-like panels. People couldn't get enough of it. Here's a fun fact. Despite its popularity and performance, Dodge only produced the Lil' Red Express for two model years, 1978 and 1979, totaling around 7,300 units during this short production span. And who knows? Untold factors such as limited production, overshadowed by other classic vehicles from the era, and a lack of widespread recognition compared to its contemporaries might be the reason for its presence in our list of underrated pickups. On number 7, we have the Dodge D200. The Dodge D200 is indeed an underrated classic pickup truck with a rich history. How so? Let's find out. The Dodge D200 was part of Dodge's line of heavy-duty trucks, specifically designed for hauling and towing heavy loads. Under the hood, it came equipped with inline six-cylinder engines, with engines typically ranging in displacement from around 3.7 liters to 4.2 liters. Additionally, it was available with V8 engine options as well, offering displacement ranging from around 5.2 liters to larger displacements. 
thus providing more power and acceleration. Here's a fun fact. This pickup was far from the eye-catching, flashy styling of other pickups. Rather, with utmost simplicity, it restored the classic design that emphasized functionality. But did you know? One reason why the Dodge D200 is underrated is likely due to limited awareness among younger generations and those outside of truck enthusiast circles. While it may not have the same recognition as some other classic trucks, its contribution to the automotive industry is undeniable. Nevertheless, the Dodge D200 is a highly capable classic pickup truck that deserves more recognition for its durability, versatility, and contribution to American automotive history. On number 6, we have the Studebaker Champ. Introducing another fascinating pickup, the Studebaker Champ, with a rich history. Introduced back in 1960, its unique design is sure to steal your heart with sleek lines and rounded edges that give it a modern and stylish appearance. This pickup is the right choice for those who prioritize comfort, offering car-like comfort with its spacious cabin and smooth ride. Equipped with a V8 engine as standard equipment, it provides impressive power and performance. Unfortunately, this pickup was discontinued in 1964, thus earning its place on the underrated pickups list. Additionally, Studebaker was not as well known or widely recognized as other automotive brands like Ford or Chevrolet, so it did not receive much attention. Yet, its unique and innovative style captivates the expectations of a few enthusiasts who know about it. Hey folks, if you're enjoying this video and want to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. On number 5, we have the Ford F-Series. Did you know? The Ford F-Series has been in continuous production since 1948, making it one of the longest-running automotive nameplates in history. And without a doubt, it has been rated as the best-selling pickup truck in the United States for over four decades. Throughout its history, the F-Series has introduced numerous innovations to the pickup truck market, including the first aluminum body in its class with the 2015 F-150 and advanced towing technologies like Pro Trailer Backup Assist. Now the question that remains unanswered is, what makes it underrated? Let me tell you, there is a perception that blows with the wind in the market, claiming it to be less flashy or stylish compared to some competitors. Additionally, this workhorse is absolutely dependable for utility and durability, but when it comes to aspects like comfort, technology, or driving experience, it is more often underrated. On number 4, we have the Jeep Scrambler CJ8. Back in 1981, a longer wheelbase version of the CJ7, named CJ8 or Jeep Scrambler CJ8, was introduced. It was a very unique blend of Jeep and a pickup truck. Sounds interesting, right? Here's a fun fact. Like its CJ predecessors, the Scrambler CJ8 also offered a convertible top option, allowing for an open-air driving experience. Other impressive features included a four-wheel drive system that would give you a blast for off-road capabilities. Sadly, only around 27,000 units were produced during its entire production run from 1981 to 1986, making it a rare find today. No doubt this pickup had a dedicated fan base, yet it remains somewhat underrated compared to other Jeep models like the Wrangler or Cherokee. Probably due to factors such as limited production numbers, its specific role as a convertible pickup, and its overshadowing by other more popular Jeep models. But what are your thoughts about this unique blend? Do let us know in the comments. On number 3, we have the 1958 Willys Jeep Pickup L6226. Under the hood, the 1958 Willys Jeep Pickup L6226 was equipped with the Super Hurricane L6226 engine, which was ahead of its time in terms of performance and reliability. Thus, it maintained a superb balance between power and efficiency. This timeless classic is termed incredibly versatile because it serves various purposes, ranging from daily transportation to heavy-duty work tasks. And yes, you can expect impressive off-road capabilities from this vehicle. However, it fell short with a limited production run and limited availability, which failed to capture the attention of a wide number of buyers in the market. Additionally, Willys Jeep as a brand didn't feel the need to invest as heavily in marketing and advertising as larger automakers. Thus, this beloved classic is found underrated in the automotive bank. On number 2, we have the Chevrolet SSR. Let me introduce a retro-style pickup that takes us back to the 1950s, presenting the Chevy SSR a classic American red-hot pickup truck with a hard-top roof, which could be lowered into the cargo bed at the push of a button, allowing for an open-air driving experience similar to a convertible. The Chevy SSR offers ample power through a range of V8 engines, including the 5.0-liter Vortec 5300 V8 and the more powerful 6.0-liter LS2 V8. 
Here's an interesting fact that crowns the Chevy SSR as a pop icon, making it a standout vehicle in various media, owing to its distinctive design and unique concept. However, its production was limited, with only around 24,000 units built between 2003 and 2006. Did you know? The SSR was introduced during a period when fuel efficiency and practicality were becoming more significant concerns for consumers, potentially overshadowing its appeal. It did not do justice with its cargo space and towing capacity like other traditional pickups. Thus, it found its way as an underrated vehicle. Finally, on number one, we have the 1973 Chevrolet C30. The Chevrolet C30 was a heavy-duty truck designed for hauling and towing. It was equipped with powerful V8 engines, producing approximately 100 to 115 horsepower and 190 to 210 pound-foot of torque. Standing out from the crowd, it was known for its solid construction, featuring a sturdy frame and chassis. Here's a noteworthy fact. The 1973 Chevrolet C30 marked the end of an era for Chevrolet trucks, being the last model year before significant design changes were introduced in 1974. This makes it a noteworthy vehicle for collectors and enthusiasts interested in classic trucks. However, it is often underrated, perhaps due to being overshadowed by other models or a lack of widespread recognition compared to its lighter-duty counterparts. And there you have it, folks, the 10 most underrated pickup trucks that you probably didn't know existed. Do let us know in the comments if you already know about them and also suggest more that could be added to the list. And while you're at it, make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you never miss another video from us. We'll see you guys very soon with our next video.